Hey everyone, I just wanted to record a quick video regarding the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL Android Auto issues with aftermarket head units such as Pioneer and Kenwood. Uh, for this example, I'm running a Pioneer AVH 2300 NEX. It's a base model aftermarket head unit by Pioneer that has Android Auto and CarPlay. Uh, you'll notice on my screen that um, I already have the USB connection plugged into my head unit. Uh, I am using a Google official USB-A to USB-C connector and as you'll notice, uh, the battery connection uh, just continually states that it's charging or not, not charging. Um, I will also mention that I am running Android P, which anyone running the Android P beta will know on these devices that Android Auto just fails to launch. If you are running Android O, which I was prior, the uh, Android Auto would launch after anywhere from 30 seconds to 20 minutes, um, and then the, the connectivity would be very unstable. Uh, what I've done is I've done some testing here, and I have found a, a workaround to get Android Auto uh, launching on the phone that has worked about 10 out of 10 times I've tried it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go into the uh, settings of the device, and then you want to look under USB preferences, which is what I'm doing here, and you'll notice that um, in between the charging cycles, uh, the items that are in grayed out will come up and be available and then gray out again. So what I've been doing is I've been tapping on this connected device uh, in between that, that time where it tries to catch and show available. Um, after doing this, um, most of the time, uh, Android Auto will launch. And in this case, uh, it's running right now. Um, I've had a, a couple scenarios where this does not work. Um, you can try to run it on the device and it just says can't switch and goes back and do the, the, the charging loop. Uh, however, most of the time you just click on that button again, it will relaunch and it'll catch and start running. And I'm gonna uh, plug in the USB again to show uh, the second time here. You'll notice it's back in the battery loop. I'm gonna quickly go to USB data or USB preferences here. And I'm going to wait for the, the option to be available. And you notice it does cycle through every once in a while here. So I just start tapping it. Um, it shows switching. And then you'll notice the battery icon stays um, charged. In this case, it, it looks like it will fail. And so I'm going to wait to cycle it again. And you'll notice the battery icon is now solid, which generally means that you have a, a good Android connection and then it starts launching. So this is something you can try at home. Uh, I'm not going to say it's going to work for everybody, but uh, I will say that it is a good workaround for me in my uh, Ford truck that I have. Um, I will say that I have a Ford Focus ST. It's a 2018 Link 3. Um, I have zero issues with this same cable in that car. Uh, Android Auto launches uh, instantly when I plug it in. Uh, however, with the truck, uh, being that it's a Pioneer head unit and it's plugged into the back of the device, uh, it does fail and does fail regularly. And once I switched over to Android P, um, it stopped launching completely. Uh, so just as a, a, a fun scenario, uh, this is going to be my third attempt here. Uh, I'm going to try to start hitting connect to device. And you'll notice the battery icon is now solid. And if all works out well, then Android Auto will, will launch after uh, it fails to switch. And there it is. So something to try at home. It may work away, may not. Um, for me, this is a good working scenario. At least my head unit that I just spent $300 for uh, is going to work well in the truck uh, with Android P. Uh, hope everyone uh, has a good rest of your day, and I uh, hope this helps anybody. Have a good one.